I want to welcome you back to Devotions, and this week I'm going to be talking about how to do well. Now, I have entitled this Gold Nuggets, so each day I'm going to be giving you gold nuggets on how just to do really well in this life. So first thing I want you to take note of, those who don't take chances, they do not make advances. Okay, you got to take a chance. You know, when we talk about walking by faith, you know, sometimes we think to ourselves, well, you know, I just trust in God and I've trusted in Jesus as my Savior. But, but I want you to learn, like, how do you apply that to life? You know, the things that which I'm going to be talking about each day, I wish somebody would have told me this when I was a young Christian. A lot of this in which I stumbled on. So uh, look with me, first of all, let's look at Psalms 35, verse 27. Let the Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Now, now, what I want you to notice in this verse, we're to magnify God and we're to glorify him because he wants you to be blessed in this life. You know, I used to think to myself that, you know, wanting to make better money or maybe to have more than what you need, that, that maybe somehow that was like sinful. But you know, as a pastor now, I, I know that when people do really well, I, I mean, they put God number one, which all of us should do that, and, and there's just a blessing to the Lord's work. So when, when I was a kid, you know, grew up really, really, really poor, okay, then when I went into like, like a foster care, if you want to say, uh, I was staying at somebody's trailer. Okay, well, I thought this trailer, I thought it was like unbelievable. I thought it was like a mansion. So... Uh, my wife and I got married when I was 19 years old, which that, that's not a good idea. We were kids. I didn't know what to do. I didn't have parents. And I told her, my goal in life is someday that we could own a trailer. Okay, so now I'm not against trailers, but I'm here to tell you that my mind thinking about how God could bless me was so far from what God's word actually really um, teaches. I want to let you know that God loves you and he wouldn't make you your dreams to come true. Now, look with me in Ephesians 3, verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us. So the Bible says, when I became a believer, this power from God, the presence of God came within me. And I'm able to do great, unbelievable things if I believe and I trust in him. You know, they have found that upper-class families produce upper-class wage children. Middle-class families produce middle-class wage children. And poor people produce children that continue to be poor. Why? Because it is a belief system. Listen, I got a gold nugget here. I want to let you know that God loves you. Uh, he wants you to make some decisions in which you decide they're going to be irreversible decisions. Why? Because you're going to take a chance because without taking a chance, there, there is no advance. Now, look, watch here. Great things never come from your comfort zone. Okay, so if you're a believer and you're saying, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trusting in the Lord and I'm praying and you're just kind of sitting back and praying, that's not going to work. Okay, so it doesn't come from your comfort zone. We've got to learn to be stretched by God by faith. I, I tell people, if you see wrinkles on my face, uh, those are spiritual stretch marks, okay? So as you grow in the Lord and you're being tested by your faith, you learn to trust in God more. But you've got to be a forward thinker. You've got to be thinking about tomorrow. Look with me in Proverbs 16, verse 3. Commit your work to the Lord and your plan will be established. Do you see that? Meaning that you understand that uh, you can't do it without God, that he gives you the strength. He gives you the power. He opens the door. It says, you give unto the Lord your plans, and he'll establish it. He's going to make it happen. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to be like the turtle. You know, even the turtle has to stick his neck out in order to go anywhere, right? Okay, I want you to go forward. I want you to believe in God. L listen, I want you to dream big because you have a big God. And that's my golden nugget today.